Hi there, artists. This week we're going to take a little break from our pirate ship around the world tour and do some mindfulness in art. So art is a great tool when you're feeling stressed or tired or, um, you know, exhausted from school or bored or angry or happy. Um, you know, art is there for you. So um, we I thought we could take some time and look at some different activities. So I put out a choice board for you today. You can choose any of the six items to do today. You only have to choose one. So um, I hope you have some fun and that you enjoy this sort of low key, mellow art making day. All right, my friends, have a great Thanksgiving and I will see you next week when we get back to a new continent. We start with Asia. All right, bye guys. This activity is called What's Your Name? So you are going to draw your name on a piece of paper in big block letters, and I'll show you how to do that. And then you are going to think of another word that starts with the same letter as your name. So I chose to do um, stone, and I chose the word strong. So well, you can see when I did my design, I used one big S, and then I have stone and strong. They're both using the same S. You don't have to do that. I just chose to do that with my design. After you've drawn your block letters for your two words, you're going to put a design or a pattern on the inside. I chose a rainbow pattern. You may choose something else completely. Like if your name starts with an E, like Edward, you may choose something like electric and you may want to show um, you know, lightning or something like that in as a pattern inside of yours. You may want to do yours as like a nighttime sky with stars. Maybe you want to do yours with polka dots or stripes or a checkerboard. Maybe you want each letter to have a different pattern. That's okay. Whatever you decide is your name, your description of yourself. Um, some other examples might be if your name is Claire, you might choose like caring or creative. If your name is uh, starts with an M like Mark or Maverick. Maybe you would choose like messy or magical. You know, just think about those words that describe you that start with the same letter as your first name. All right, let's get started. All right, here's my sample again for us to look at. You can see I have a big S and I have my name, S-T-O-N-E, Stone. Then I have S-T-R-O-N-G, Strong. Now, if you're in kindergarten and you don't know how to spell, you only have to do your name. And then we'll just think about the rest. Or you can ask your grown-up to help you with spelling, and then you can try that. So this time I'm going to do my first name. So my name is Nikki. In order to do those block letters, I'm going to write really big and put some space between my letters. And I'm going to choose a word that starts with N, and that is natural. Now that I have my letters on, I can make my big block letters by going around them. You could do bubble letters too if you want. Go around that pencil line. And then erase the first pencil that we did. See what a nice big letter I have there? And I might fix that in a little bit. Little bit. Now if you wanted to do bubble letters, you could do that too. You would just go around them, around them like this. Bubble letters are just rounded on the edge, not square. And then I'm going to do erase that inside again. So I just have that outline that we made. This is why we had to space our letters out, because we need the space between them to make those bubble letters. I'm going to turn this one into a bubble letter too. So in order to do that, I need to just erase my square ends, and I'll make these rounded. There we go. Now I'm going to do my natural, and we'll be right back. Okay, as you can see, I have gone through and 
traced that first letter to make my bubble letters. Then I traced my bubble letters with Sharpie and I just went through with my eraser and erased all of those pencil lines. Now we can start to do our decoration. So you're going to think about what makes sense, what you want to do. I'm going to pick colors that I really like. So I'm going to pick some cool colors, some greens, and some blues. And I'm thinking about nature. And so I'm going to do some like leaves in here. You know, you may do, if I had stone, you know, I could do sporty and I could do little sports balls like basketballs and footballs and baseballs. Um, if you were doing magic, you know, maybe you would put like a rabbit, some little sparks. I'm just going to keep putting some leaves in here. Put those veins on them. Get a big leaf in here if I can. Notice how I make them sort of run off the letter a little bit. I'm okay with that. And this one just may have like a half a leaf. I'm going to color these leaves in. blue sky around them. Okay, so you're going to keep going until you're done. If you want, you can give it a little background color. That would look really great. And then go ahead and hang these up. I can't wait to see them. All right. Have fun, my friends.